well done and dusted. So we moving on to weaning and sorting the lambs into what we want to keep and what we want to sell. So I've got a small gang in this evening now just to get started. I'm going to try and pick some top lambs out so I can get some sold as well. One of the main criteria for the first sort of selection day is they've got to be thriving off their mother's milk and off grass. So that's why I like to select them now, sort of just before weaning or at weaning time. So we're just going to go through these now and see what's what. I've now gone through the lambs in this little lot and I've picked 10 that I think have got potential to go on and sell as yearlings next year. One of the first things I was looking for was a lamb that was looking good and thriving because if they're thriving off their mothers that have been on grass for the last few months uh, there's a good chance that they'll go on and breed ewes that will th also thrive on grass and produce good quality lambs for someone else. I've got some ewes and lambs in to go through them today and try and select some top lambs. So I can get some that are not good enough for breeding to market tomorrow. So we've got them in, so we're going to go through them very carefully now. Checking for anything that stands out. And obviously, breed characteristics have got to be spot on as well. So we're just going to go through these now. Got another gang of lambs here that have been selected, provisionally selected as top lambs. We've checked their breeding and we've remarked them different colours according to their sire. So we got a yellow shoulder there by Witch Castle Hot Stuff, orange shoulder by Southam Gunner. Pink shoulder there by Bronath Gomer. Green shoulder, Ray Castle Eduardo. Black shoulders, Thoughts Gold Card. Blue shoulder, Ray Castle Emmanuel. So a very good selection in this lot again. We've got plenty of food to do again, so we got to crack on. through a couple of lots yesterday to select some ram lambs that were good enough to keep and the main reason for doing that yesterday was so that we could get the ones that were not good enough uh, off to market today so these ewes have just been back in now to get the ones that are going to market out from them Yesterday we went through a couple of lots to choose some ram lambs that were good enough to hang on to and we also went through the rest to try and get some to market today. Well we took 36 out to hang on to 
and we've got roughly the same numbers here to go down to the local market, Farmers Marts in Machansleth today. So I've just unloaded the lambs here at the market down in Machantleth. We're very lucky. We still got the local market open and it's only about nine miles from home. So we're very, very fortunate, especially the way things have been the last two or three months. We're very lucky. I've just come back from the market and the uh, numbers were up quite a bit there today. I think they have been uh, this week as a whole. So the trade was back a bit. But uh, 44 and a half kilos made 95 and the 42s made 92 and the 35s were down to 76. So can't really complain you know they were all except for three I think twins they've all gone off grass and what more do you want really obviously we'd like a bit more but we can't complain at that so I think I should be happy <laughs> 